So the project set up here and I'm ready to record a MIDI performance. But I don't want to choose a tempo first as I'm not sure of the tempo I want to use. So I'm keeping the tempo at 120 beats per minute and we'll see what tempo we play it at. I've already set up my track with a piano sound using the Numer player, which is a free plugin we could use with Reaper. And it sounds like this. So I'm ready to record my performance. And I'm not gonna use the metronome because obviously I don't know what tempo I wanna use. Now the method we go through will work with any MIDI performance that was not recorded to a tempo, as you can find the tempo later with this method. So let's give it a shot. As you could tell, it wasn't perfect to any tempo. That doesn't matter for this. We just need to get it close, and we can always quantize it later, or replay it at the tempo we find. So let's take the track out of record. Now we want to put this item at the beginning of the project. As you can see, it already starts there, but if it didn't, we can just drag it to the left to put it on ball one. Then we want to make the MIDI notes all start at ball one. And we can do that by opening up the MIDI editor by double clicking, selecting all the MIDI notes and cutting them. Hit W to go to the beginning of the MIDI editor and pasting. So now it all starts at bar one perfectly. That's important. So now we can close this. Now we should see how many bars we played. So we should count it in our head to see what bar we stopped at. As you noticed over here, I played a turnaround, which is the start of the next section. So we need to know what bar this is. So let's count it from the beginning. So right here should be bar five instead of over here. So we'll place our cursor on bar five, hit shift C, and that's gonna create a tempo marker at bar five. Now we don't need to change the tempo, we just need to add the marker. Now we could drag this marker over to here, but watch what happens if we do. Hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac. If we do this, it moves our bars, but it also stretches the MIDI, and we don't want that. So we need to do two things. Go to the project settings and change the time base for items to be just time. And this will work if we're dealing with audio, but for MIDI, we need to do an extra step. Let's right click the item, go to source properties and choose to ignore the project tempo and just use 120 beats per minute, which is what we recorded this part at. So once we choose that, we can now grab this, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and move bar five, and the MIDI doesn't move with it. So we can move the bars freely without worrying about the MIDI. It's still gonna play back exactly the same. So let's move it right to this last note, like that. And notice the tempo over here is 83.797 beats per minute. And if we turn on our click, we can see if it's close. It at least averages to the right tempo, but it's not perfect. If we want it to be perfect, we can just put more tempo markers on each bar. Hit Shift C on each one of these bars. But if we hold down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac now and move these, it also moves this one. And we don't want that. So we need to add in an extra modifier. Hold Control on the PC, Option Command on the Mac. Now if we move it, it just moves this one without these two. 
So I could put this exactly on this note. Do the same with this one and this one. So now it should be a lot closer with the metronome. So it'd be perfect if we just wanted to lock it to a tempo. But if we wanted to use one tempo, we should delete these and just use this one. Where we did before, and consider this our tempo, which now we could delete this one, both on the PC, option on the Mac, and just use this tempo as our tempo. And to make it perfect, we could double click it and just quantize it to the grid. We'll use eighth notes straight on position and note end. And let's see if it locks with the click. Perfect. So now we have our tempo. And if we want to change it, make it closer to a whole number, we can just double click it, maybe use 84. But notice what happened. It didn't change our MIDI. In order to change the MIDI to our tempo, let's undo it. We need to go back to our project settings and change this back to beats, position, length, and rate. So now we could change this to any tempo we want. Let's make it 84. And the MIDI changed to go with it. So if we want a whole number, we can just use 84. Or if we want it to be faster or slower, we can now just change it. Maybe change it to 78, and the MIDI changes with it. We'll go faster, maybe 95. But either way, we locked it to a tempo, and we found that tempo, which is pretty close to 84, based on the performance we played. Perfect. So that's pretty much it. That's finding the tempo of a MIDI performance in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.